How you doing? What up? Burger King mukbang. I'm excited. I haven't had Burger King in quite a while actually. Um, so I think we should do this. Got KFC on here. Don't know why. Throw this away. Mm -mm -mm. So this time I ordered something new. Double Steakhouse Burger Menu, I believe. It is called. I think this is chicken tenders. I'm not sure though. But. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. I like the fact that they wrap it like in America. When I used to be at Orlando, I think, a couple years ago, they also used to wrap it in these type of packaging, which makes, of course, really nice ASMR sounds. Got some chip, some chips. I don't know what you call these in America. I think fries. They're kind of soggy and cool, but it's alright. Got some sauce. Got some napkins as well. Mmm. I'll show you how to do this. It's 12 o'clock when I'm recording, or 11 o'clock when I'm recording this video. Mmm. Look at that. Praise the Lord. This is some good food. I'm hungry, man. Let's do this. First of all, I hope you guys are doing well. I couldn't do any better, me being honest. Uh, I'm having a really good day, or a week actually. Let's open these sauces up. Mm -mm -mm. I see that you guys are really enjoying the mukbangs. I have seen some comments pass by that say it's kind of, kind of irritating. I can understand that, but you know, I've said multiple times this is going to be a mukbang channel, whether you like it or not, you know. Um, because I'm widely known for eating videos and ASMR, so that's my category, man. Mm -mm -mm. I'm mm. Chicken tender. Let's get this. Mm. 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 This is really nice. So I saw a lot of you commenting on the previous video with my brother. I had to laugh. As well, you guys were definitely fried. So that fried refers to being high. Uh, it refers to weed, you know, smoking weed. I don't smoke weed. Well, particularly, in general, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Neither does my brother. He doesn't do any of that stuff. But, not saying I have never tried weed. I have tried weed. Man, it's not as nice. Um, but that's not that's a different story. I'll tell you next time, my first time trying weed. All right? that's, a, that's a different story time. But no, we weren't high. I mean, I don't know if you can consider it high, but I use... I take medication on a daily basis for my autism. Um... 54 milligram and when my medication works out I act a bit trippy so I guess you can call it sort of high my eyes start hanging low a bit they, they turn red a little bit it's a different concept like weed it's just I, it's, it's medication I got a high off a little bit you know what I mean but sometimes I just laugh so so much for, for like bullshit like I would laugh at a bird it's really vague. It makes no sense, but yeah, it's true. Man, this burger. I need to put my chair up a bit. Get this burger out. Mm, so I've never actually had. Oh, 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 mm, mm, mm. oh, McDonald's. You could learn a bit from this. God damn. Whew. This is breakfast. <laughs> this is a. Man, get your lettuce off my. Tomato always ruins it. Let's do this. Huh. I can't eat normal at all. <laughs> hey. It's actually, um, it's really. What is wrong with these people with lettuce? Tomato isn't a thing you should put on a burger. This is, <laughs> this is huge. I should definitely cut this in half, actually. Hmm. So this, this was actually a pretty cheap meal. Twelve dollars, I think. Only the chicken tenders. I don't know how it works in the U.S., but let me know. Chicken tenders here are actually really expensive. These four pieces alone were like four, five dollars converted in, in dollars. That's yeah, it's true. It's ridiculous how much these cost. You pay an average of one fifty per piece of chicken. 
I want to know why it's so expensive. I don't get the point. Maybe the processors are difficult. I don't know. And fun fact, I was actually number one at Burger King. The first customer. It's a double bait. Mm, they're good. Mm, 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 mm. It's just perfect. So what have I been doing lately? Me being honest, not much. Let's put this on the chicken rings. Oh, my bad. Sh strips. Tenders. There's no different. Oh, there is in the one that's bone. I, I know, I know. It's a joke, alright. I'm in such a great mood. <laughs> I've never been this happy. And when I say, you can understand if I, if I say I've never been this happy, not just because I'm eating food, but there's something I've been. Just telling you. I mean, it's crazy. This is for my, this is my second channel, and I find it quite funny. How this channel has been exploding for the past couple of weeks. I mean, I've gained in 28 days on this channel alone. Now, this was my best month ever with both channels. <coughs> with both channels in total in this month, I gained 6 million views. Yeah, 6 million views. This is my highest month ever. It's crazy. It's actually bizarre. It's cool. Like, like, don't get me wrong, it's actually cool, but it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's just it's just outrageous numbers. It's awesome, bro. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Mm mm mm. Damn. Oh, well, kind of weird. My dad always does his fries on his burger. He used to do it in South Africa last year. I don't know why. Let's get this. This is a, it's actually, for the money I pay for this, it's actually a really nice burger. Because you know when you're at McDonald's, it's like four times smaller the size for the exact amount of money. That's what I love about Burger King. You pay money for, your, your money's worth the burger. Like, look how big it was. It's not a small burger, and I'm really grateful for that. At least you don't get ripped off for your money at Burger King, like like McDonald's, you know. Mm. Mm. It's a bit cool because I was in the car for 25 minutes, so I had to pick up my brother and put him back home. So it took me a while to drive back. Mm. I like the chicken. Really good. It's really nice. Mm. It's really good. Oof. Can you appreciate that barbecue sauce, please? It's good. It looks pink on my screen, but it's because the color is different, you know? I, I don't. So I've seen a, I've seen a lot of questions as well asking if I go to school. Yes, I go to school. It's just I'm on a two month, three month break because of because of my exams. So for those wondering, yeah, I do go to school. Fortunately, <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. You need school. Although some people claim school ain't point, ain't, ain't useful, but. Everybody thinks different and acts different, you know? Hmm. It's nice to know that it's at least fresh because I was the first customer. So it's obviously takes longer to make, which is really nice to know. Burger King definitely beats McDonald's in any sort of way with the burger. Like, no joke. The best. Hmm.
because I waited around 10 to 15 minutes for this menu which is nice and that gives you like a safe feeling of saying yuck I mean uh, yes it's, it's fresh you know not yuck but who knows maybe it's not fresh but hey it's food as long as I can eat it I'm happy you know mm. Mm -hmm. really nice I can't forget if you haven't followed me or you aren't following me on any of my social medias you need to my snapchat is keegan9853 in the description you can find my username if you want to know again mm. we're close to hitting 16,000 followers on instagram so be sure to follow me on instagram and i post quite a lot of stories on my instagram for you know uh for video teasers to say when a video is coming up what my next video will be um just in general my instagram is my my life I show some of my personal life well you know a lot of people may find it a bit weird that a kid like my age posts so many stuff of his you know his life I'm, I'm fine with it. you know it's kind of weird to say but it's the same kind of like thing these rappers and it's kind of fake but if you have a fan base following of seven eight million followers it gets kind of it's kind of like a thing you just can't live without posting anything on your story but it's also kind of bad, like, I don't post everything I do, like, obviously I don't, because that's very irritating, like, I don't, see, I don't see the point of posting, like, it's the same thing, if I go to to if I go to the toilet, I don't film it, say, hey guys, I'm gonna take a shit on the toilet, uh, you know, I don't post that stuff, some people do that, I'm like, okay, man, we don't need to know you're taking a poo, but uh, if you wanna share with us, do your thing, my man, it's your own Instagram account, if you would like to share that you're taking a, a poop on the toilet, do your thing, you know, I've got nothing against it, but I don't do that. I, I use my Instagram and Snapchat more just, you know, to promote my videos, obviously, because ain't nothing wrong with that. To, to talk to people, you know, just the whole concept, what's actually made for. And when it comes to photos, I don't post a lot of pictures because it doesn't interest me, really. Yeah, it's nice not having thousands of likes, but I'm not trying to brag, but just saying. I don't care really about likes. You know, you should always rec remember. Those, like I, w I was gonna post last night on my Instagram. It don't matter how much money you have or f or got. You should never forget the people that helped you to come this far. I might just post on my Instagram because I'm a very. So what some people claim on my um, which I find really nice actually, pretty interesting. That I'm very inspirational. I'm like damn. You know, I'm just a 17 year old kid, trying, just making videos, man. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to do my best, you know, I appreciate it. And I find it very cool to see the fact that um, a lot of, some people, claim, well, quite a lot of people, I can probably say a lot of people say that I'm an inspiration. I never thought, I mean, I was like, you know, YouTube is just me making videos and that's it, you know, nothing more. That's what I used to think, but it's a lot more than you think, it's very cool. It's a platform to socialize with. It's not just making videos and, you know, collecting money. It's not all just that, which a lot of people assume. No, YouTube channels. To run a YouTube channel, you have to... And that's a fact. I'm saying, be honest. I'm, I'm being honest. If you want to start up a channel, don't start up a channel. If you got a job as an um, entrepreneur or as a... Um, that's a pay or whatever you call it you know don't I don't recommend you I wouldn't recommend you to start up a channel if you're like really busy because it's gonna just get, get difficult you know you don't want to force yourself into making videos and then you know you're not having time for your job because you know your job goes forward you know so if you want to make a channel you need to have time there's no but yeah you need to have time because YouTube is not just a couple of minutes of your day my dad spends minimum five hours a day on YouTube. You're probably wondering, what does he do for five hours minimum? Comments. I filled his comments. Replies a lot. He replies to a lot of comments. YouTube. He checks everything out. And he's also my manager. <laughs> we've, we've had a discussion of me giving him 10%. I'm like, nah, man, you mad, nah, nah, dog, you can get my money, nah. 
I mean, it's all joking. Me and my dad have a good, really good relationship. I mean, I know it's just joking, but just for everybody out there, if you want to start up a channel, you need to have time. Um, you just need to have time. That's literally the most important thing. You need to have time, and you want to spend time. If you make up a channel, you gotta have, spend time in it. You just have to. There's no but this and that. Like I said, you need to have time. You need to put work in it. You can't just expect it to be handed out to you. Nope, it's not how it works. Thank God, actually. No. You gotta work for it, man. It's like a regular job. You gotta work for it, man. And if you wanna be the manager of, it, of the company, you gotta start from the lowest. That's how it normally goes. You, you've gotta start from the lowest point. Eventually, this and that, this and that. If it goes well, you have the chance, opportunity, you get offered to get the highest rank. But that's not how it works with YouTube. It doesn't matter, you could be making videos for 7-8 years, but have a couple of thousand subscribers. But I'm saying couple of, but you have a fan base. So people like your videos nonetheless. Look, if you start YouTube out, don't just make don't just don't make videos because you want to earn money off it. If you think that as a beginner, you, that's that's actually very bad. If you're thinking, oh I'm I'm just gonna start doing YouTube because of the money. Then you shouldn't start on my opinion because that's just a bad that's just bad very bad example. Because I find it kind of sad that as a lot of people nowadays make do YouTube because they just do it for the money. I'm like the fuck man, like come on. Don't you like doing making videos? Like look, me being honest, I love making videos. I love it. I put passion and love into it. And I see a lot of people like that as well. Like obviously. I got the best work. Nah, I'm joking. This is just a joke. Nah, like I've always said and I've always kept it real. Don't make YouTube or don't start it up because you want to just earn money with it. No man. That's just wrong and people will dislike you. Because nobody likes a person who just makes or does something purely for money. You know? That's the thing as a content creator, man. You just gotta you gotta be very careful what you do, what you say. So everything you say or do that will have a consequence. You may not think about it. I mean, what I'm saying right now could also have a consequence. Could also have an action. You know, anything you gotta do, you just gotta be really careful with it. And you can't just say something on YouTube as a content creator because you're a. You've got to kind of see. So you gotta, you can't, you've got to kind of look at it like people look up to you. So you as a content creator should know better. Sounds kind of weird, but you should know better, you know? Like, I'm a inspiration to people. I, I need to show them what's best, you know? You've got to keep, you've, got just, you've just got to do like that, you know? And I'm not a professional when it comes to this, but I know quite a lot of YouTube. Like, I've been doing this for almost three years. Uh, which is amazing, by the way. It's 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 crazy how long it's lasting. Not sure for how long it will be lasting. I mean, it can end any second. Which you've got to also be very careful with. YouTube can end any second. So um, don't expect up to wake every morning and saying, "Yeah, I'm making videos, so I'm earning money." Don't expect that. Because eventually, karma will bite your ass, and your channel will be gone. Which what happening to me? You know. Like, I always say fuck the money, it's national having money, yeah, it's nice, I'll be honest, yeah, it's cool, but does it make me happy? I mean, I'm a kid, you know, I have nothing to stress about, I don't have a house, I don't have to pay anything off, it's national, because I know I can build my future up after school, I could go to university, if I wanna, I don't think I wanna, because it's ridiculous how much you gotta pay for rent uh, nowadays, just to, you know, hire a house, anyway, a little apartment, I think, with students. You know, I, I, what was I saying? I don't even know what I'm, what I'm talking about anymore. Those are kind of my tips if you want to start up a channel. And the best way to approach your fo followers is as a YouTuber, which I didn't, which was kind of a mistake for me back then, I didn't have any social platforms besides YouTube. Which is very stupid of me. If I would have had my Instagram, Snapchat back then, two years ago, I would probably have maybe double the followers on Instagram, like 30, 40k. 
probably, but who knows, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to end this video. 20 minutes. I really, really enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments. Um, what mukbang I should do next? I went actually, actually went to the Asian, so you know Chinese woman. I don't know. Okay. Um, I got a lot of noodles. Holy crap! <laughs> I got Japanese udon noodles. I got Korean chips. I got mo mochi muki. What do you call it? Oh, kind of like sweet thing. So uh, I've been trying to search it for ages. So probably a an Asian slash. I think we've, we've got Indian food as well in there. Mukbang. Uh, it's gonna be dope because tomorrow Thursday Friday and perhaps uh, Saturday I'll be alone for the whole time in the house um, so yeah I'm gonna treat myself I'm like hey you know I've worked hard let me just treat myself with, 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 with a nice cuz I have been thinking of doing a it's, it's gonna sound kind of weird but I've been thinking of doing a $50 mukbang like Basically, um, with with you know like luxurious products like steak, uh, maybe champagne. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to buy champagne. That type of mukbang. See what it is. See what it feels like eating that type of food. Cause I don't. Like me being for honest, I haven't changed when it comes to eating food. I still eat noodles. I still eat this. I still eat junk food. I don't change. I haven't changed when it comes to eating food. Trust me. Even Lil Pump. He's a millionaire. Still eats normal food like everybody else does. Which hey, me being look, if I gotta be honest, I, I want to go to America so bad. I'm hoping I can very soon, just purely because I've never been to Wendy's, never been to Popeyes, uh, I've never been to them because we don't have this type of fast food restaurants here. Um, even if it costs me, you know, a ticket, a ticket ain't cheap, but uh, hey, it's alright, man. You gotta try things out in your life. And I think I'll go on, uh, you know, 17, I'm allowed to go alone, but I'm very bad when it comes to going somewhere alone. I don't know where, I have to, where I'm going to go then. I have to see. But, um, yeah, I would definitely like to, to go to America. I'm a, I love America. Uh, do I want to go to Las Vegas? Nah, I don't fuck, I don't know, I don't like Las Vegas. It's, um, Las Vegas ain't what you think it is. I've never been there, but it's not what you think it is. They're all glamour. Nah, it's not what you, it's all fake. It's all fake. Yeah, it's there, but... It's not reality. Las Vegas ain't reality of what's actually going on in that place. It's not reality. That's what. That's why a lot of people are getting tricked nowadays with places. It's not reality. They're not showing the real, actual city. They're just showing you the nice parts. But they, you I mean you look? There's a lot of murders in Las Vegas, but you never hear that. You 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 never hear anything about somebody being killed in a motel. Why? Because it's bad for business, which I can't understand. But anyways, enough talking, jeez, 23 minutes, I think we should cut this video, I th I, a lot of you like the mukbang with my brother, hopefully I can make a mukbang with my brother, soon, I think the light in this one was, like, legit, was really good, I'll actually show you what the light is, uh, but uh, just, just be careful for your eyes, this, I have one light, studio light, and uh, a 4K camera, so 60 frame camera, I'm gonna probably order it tonight, but I want a new camera, not that I need a new camera, but I just want a new camera. Yeah, it's quite. It's kind of a mess, my room, because you know it's been kind of kind of a hectic week. So, uh, there's still no excuse actually. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Um, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my main channel. I'll put two subscribe buttons at the end of this video somewhere and two random videos you can click on if you want to see more on this channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.